I think that's my type, is like a sexy scumbag. I don't think I have a type. It's not working so far. I've got no idea what to expect. I'm just like, oh, okay, I could meet someone really nice. I might not, who knows? It's the perfect time to start dating again. It was almost like watching a new movie. It I was. was kind of engrossed. Yeah. This is Cinema Dates, the dating show courtesy of Sky Cinema. Over the series, we're set to meet 20 real-life individuals who are looking for romance and are ready to be paired up on a date, and perhaps bond over popcorn, a glass of Diablo, and hopefully one of the thousands of films available on Sky Cinema. When I meet someone, it's more just about a general vibe, and it's not necessarily something I'm looking for. It's just, I meet someone, either I like them or I don't. When I was, I guess, in my teens, I used to have lots of relationships, as one does. And then it kind of just stopped. I feel like everyone goes through that kind of breakup, that kind of like, they, they look back and they're like, who am I now? I went into this with absolutely no expectation, and I haven't really been thinking about it during the week. Like, I've had other stuff going on, so I kind of just, I wanted to just go with the flow with this one. And I'm your host, matchmaker and comedian Michael Spicer, and I'll be watching along with you and commenting because who doesn't love being judged by a complete stranger? Cinema Dates is sponsored by the daringly delicious Diablo. My name is Louise. I am originally from Northampton, but I now live in London. I've been single for maybe like six years now, I think, five, six years. Around that timeline. I haven't kept track, but it's been a while. I'd like to be able to be myself and find someone who's themselves as well and not trying to put on a front for a relationship. My name is Joe. Um, I'm from Milton Keynes and I have been single for two years. A good date is when you just can't stop talking. Like it's just electric. It's just flow. Do you know what I mean? Having that kind of like butterfly feeling and enjoying it and when you're in the moment talking to each other and you're like, oh my god, I'm actually talking to this person. Like if you connect with someone like that and it's just like fire, then that's that's a good day. Okay, well that's good because Joe's definitely got passion, so we're, we're onto something here. I think I want someone fun and someone funny. Someone who has a passion for something in their life. I like it when someone knows where what they want and where they're going. When I meet someone, it's more just about a general vibe and it's not necessarily something I'm looking for. It's just I meet someone, either I like them or I don't. And if I do like them, okay, well, I might see them again and, 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 and just see how it goes. I hope we just get each other because there's nothing worse than going on a date and there's just no, you don't understand each other. Okay, we've had a little insight. Um, I've, I've got a good feeling about these two, so let's get them to meet. Hello. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Good, my name's Louise. What's yours? Louise, I'm Joe. Joe. Nice to meet you, Louise. Hello. And you. How are you? Yeah, good. This is weird, isn't it? It is really yeah, weird. Yeah, it's like really weird. It's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Was that awkward or was that just me? Have you ever done anything like this before? No. Okay. Not at all. Never been on a blind date, never been yeah. set up, okay. never been filmed doing this. Yeah. Have you? No, me neither. No, no. never. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're in this together, we okay? Are. Yeah. <laughs> I like your tattoo. Thank you. How many do you have? I have, I have four. Four? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you have any? I do. Okay. I have a. Are they a, in a, a little, a tiny little sun? Okay. Yeah. Cool. What do you have? I. <laughs> you know, you know oh my god. Like... Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. This is awkward, and I love it. I have, um, I have this one. Um, this one. This is like a top of an album cover. This one is a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish. I have a uh, an owl, and then I have a lady. Oh, cool. Mm. Why do you have a cuttlefish? Um, it's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> How about a good answer? It's, I get the others. It's actually, yeah, it's actually really lame. OK, awkward start, but I am detecting energy and, you know, something between them. So, so you know, fingers crossed. It's going to get better. Um, I've already forgotten your name. Louise. So sorry. <laughs> Maybe you should get a tattoo of it. Just call me, just call me like Louise. 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 Call me anything. Louise. Oh, blimey, steady on. Where are you from, Louise? I'm from, from Northampton. London. You're from Northampton? Uh, yeah. OK. Do you know it? I do know Northampton. Yeah, no, I'm 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 from Milton Keynes, so I'm like. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, Midlands. No. 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 Midlands. <laughs> yeah. No, Milton Keynes. Well, is it Midlands? East Midlands. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't like say that. it is. Just for public record, Milton Keynes is not in the Midlands. So what did you study at uni? Music. Music. Awesome. Commercial music. I could have guessed. I guess. Really? Yeah. You do got I... the like the music edge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a compliment. It's yeah. Good. No. No. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do work in music now as well. So I guess maybe, maybe it's maybe it's the biz. And if someone likes music and is is, is into similar things to me, um, or just has has the has a similar sort of passion for music than I do, then um, 
yeah, that's generally something I, I connect with. Thought so. That's a musician right there, you can tell. What about yourself? How come you moved to London? I want to act. You want to act? Yeah. Oh, no, no way. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> are you studying here? Or like, no. You... Okay, yeah. I, cool. I studied in New York last year. Actually. Really? Yeah. Okay, where, whereabouts? New York. As in like, I mean, the, the school. Like... New York. Oh, it's called New York School. No, oh, the school. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I'm cursing this. School in New York, I mean, that's what he's getting at. Hello. Hello, just got some hot drinks for you guys. Yes, thank you. Thank God, Aidan always finds a way to come in at the right time. Right, let's get them some popcorn and some coffee and some awkward questions. Not that they need it. Joe, you have an oat flat white. I do have an oat flat white. Put that down without spinning it. Oh, look at that, that's yeah. lovely. That's what coffees look like. Have you ever seen one before? Joe, I've got some questions, so I need to take a look at those. <laughs> oh, oh. From your life, it's turned into a movie. What moment would be the main event? Ooh, going to New York to study. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, that's you know, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, never expected that to happen. I think probably like if I were to put it down to something, it would be it would actually be COVID. Like that whole really? period. COVID the movie. Something no one wants to see. Yeah, just because like I felt like I learned a lot mm. through that period. Mm. I was furloughed as well. So yeah. like, yeah, literally, like, oh, yeah. yeah, everything was just like stripped away. I think it's time to get them to watch the movie. So what classic film has Louise chosen from Sky Cinema today? We're watching the cinema classic, E.T. Oh my God. Have you seen it? Yeah. Do you I like it? I haven't seen it in years. Did you watch it as a kid? Yeah. Did you? I didn't. Have you never seen it? I've seen it once. Usually once, okay. Don't remember it at all. Uh, the last time I saw it was probably at least 15 years ago. So let's go watch E.T. then. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm born ready. Oh, okay. Born ready. Just get in the cinema, you two. Let's go. <laughs> I'll give you a quick spoiler-free summary, just in case you've never seen the film. So it's a Spielberg classic, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. The film is about a little boy called Elliot who stumbles across a little alien called E.T. Elliot and his friends have to try and get their new alien friends safely home before the government gets their grubby hands all over it. It's a film brimming with exciting thrills, spills and excessive product placement. If you've never seen it, it's very much worth a watch. If you have seen it, it's worth a rewatch. And it's on Sky Cinema. So we've given them an interval so that they can stretch their legs and uh, chat about the film and find out, more importantly, what they think about each other. Good, good choice of film. I think. Um, I don't think either of us have seen the film for quite a long time. Didn't realise how relaxing E.T. was. <laughs> the date's going well. It was a relief to find out that we get on. Yeah, there seems to be a, there seems to be a good vibe. We're just getting on. Similar sense of humour as well, which is very important. I like how he's got fashion and a style. Thank God he's tall. I just thought, oh yes, he's up there, that's good. That's a brilliant way of describing a tall man. Oh, he's up there, that's good. It was a bit like, at the start, I think it was a little bit like, ooh, this is a bit awkward, but then I feel like we broke the ice. We, we, we have a very similar energy. We've both never done anything like this before, so I think we kind of connected on that. <laughs> oh my God, it was so <laughs> funny, right? <laughs> the second time I've ever seen it. The first time was, I think it was like over lockdown. Yeah. I said to my mum, I've okay. never seen it. And she was like, oh, I've got to watch it. Oh, you said to your mum you were going to watch this Yeah, 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 I said to her. I've never seen it because I can't because it's one of those classics that everyone talks about, mm. and uh, I was really feeling left out. <laughs> so yeah. she put it on, and I think I fell asleep the first time I watched it. Mm. So it was nice to rewatch the bits that I. Missed. Oh, so you haven't actually seen the whole thing? No. All the way through. <laughs> no. <laughs> what would you rate it out of ten? Out of ten, I'd say like a, at least a seven. Seven. Okay. At that's least, I mean, good. what would you say? Probably about the same, like yeah. seven point five. Seven point five. What, has, has your date got four Oscars? I think once you get into eight territory, it's like, okay, this is like a really good movie. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's that's how ratings work when the numbers go higher. Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, just here, please. Yeah. <laughs> so what vintage is this? Well, it's a lovely <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, look at there we go. Do we get right. to taste it? Here's Aidan with a bottle of uh, Daring and Disobedient Diablo, who are also our sponsors. Lovely people. Oh. <laughs> wow. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Diablo's dare to share. Oh God. Yeah. What do you find most attractive about one another? Oh God. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, this is this is the worst, isn't it? Yeah. Oh God, I hate this. <laughs> okay, Joe, this is it. This is your chance to make a really good impression. I like your chat. 
Like oh. I like your I like your your sense of humor. Yes, that's the sort of feedback a woman really desires. For like instantly, yeah. we were just like just like cracking on. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like cracking jokes. That's the same. But I was gonna say with you. Yeah. And that's what you can't I was... just steal my answer. You have to think of something. <laughs> <laughs> your humor. <laughs> it's not like talking to a brick wall. That's what yeah, I was most yeah, yeah. nervous about. Yeah, you would yeah. talk to someone and it just like yeah. bounce back, and you're like, yeah. oh, what are we yeah. gonna talk about? Yeah, no, I like I like your I like your chat. Yeah. Good okay. chat. Good. Good. That was yeah. okay. Cool. Next one. Okay. <laughs> Down the wine. No, don't down the wine. Drink responsibly, preferably with Diablo. What's the most embarrassing thing <laughs> that happened to you on a date or in front of a crush? Oh, that's good. I'm gonna have to think about that one. I have one, but it's not the most embarrassing thing, but it's the only thing that comes to mind at okay, the moment, because I said it, it earlier. It might something in my head as well. Okay, I went on a date with this really rich man and it was at a really fancy restaurant. And I got there so early that I ended up being up late because I got there really early, so I went for a walk. And then my phone GPS doesn't work. So then when I had to go and meet him, I got lost. And then it started to rain. And then I started to get sweaty because I was trying to run around London trying to find him. He was calling me and I was at the top of Sushi Samba. Sushi Samba, yeah, the yeah. Tower, yeah. Yeah, at the top of the Liverpool Street. Yeah, yeah. When I finally got there, I was wearing a leather jacket and it would be raining and I was very sweaty. And I was like, I'm trying to like oh. get my jacket off and it took me like 10 minutes and he was ordering these cocktails and this stuff and he wanted us to also move tables to get a better view and there's mm. knocking things over and then I sat down and got my jacket off and the uh, the chopsticks went everywhere and like I was dropping all the cocktails. Intriguing but we must move on. Very light-hearted question. Have you ever been in love? Yes I have. Oh. I have been in love. I have been in love. Oh. Oh. Have you? I don't know. Which um, maybe no. Yeah. If I don't I, know. I think, yeah. I don't know, it's difficult. Well, I feel like when you know, you know. I think if you've been in love, you know you've been in love. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess everyone has a different definition of love and like yeah. what is what is love really? Love like, is all around us. Baby, don't hurt me. Love is don't hurt me. Oh no. No more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I felt like when I fell in love, oh. it was like such an intense feeling. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd, ne I'd never, like it was like so far beyond anything that I'd ever felt before. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I was just like, oh, this is what it is. Oh, yeah. okay. I have had something similar, but I, we weren't like in a relationship. Mm. It was just like a friend of mine that I was like deeply in love with. Oh, deeply in love, that's love then? That might oh, have been okay. it. That's tricky. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I find I'm like, we're still friends, but I'm no longer in love with him, which okay. is nice. Yeah. It's did you have to take a time out? Or did you just no, did it just did it just wane over time? I think it just went over time. We've mm. known each other for like a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah. But like I have been on a date before where like I just realised that it was just not gonna work and I was just like oh, yeah. Shall we just nip this in the bud? Like this is not gonna work. Like That's you're confidence. great. That's, yeah. yeah. I hope you're not referring to this date. I feel like when you're in relationship you learn a lot in relationships, right? Mm -hmm. What's good for you? Mm -hmm. Like I've, I mean I feel like you do most of your learning when you're out of the relationship. Yeah. Because you have to come to terms with like every, not come to terms, yeah. but like you process everything yes. and you think like, you look was back that, over everything. you look back over everything, was like, was that good for me? Mm -hmm. Was I in the right mind then? Like, should I think about this more? I don't know. Some people say so much, but so little at the same time, don't they? Most importantly, um, just being like straight up with people. Mm. Like when I realize it's not gonna work, I'm just like, let's snip this in the bud. Yes. Instead of letting it, yeah. Continue for no reason. Yeah, letting it continue. So that's gone straight to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go over there? Shall we head off? Are you Shall done with your off? wine? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, have you had enough wine? Had enough wine, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, let's get to that classic part of a dating show where we find out if they'd like to see each other again. Do you think you can see each other again? I've had a really nice day, actually. I'd, li I'd like to see you again. Yeah, me too. It's been fun. It hasn't been as scary and as... I was like, oh, I can't go back in and see him again. Yeah. You know, it's been nice. I felt like we just really connected. Like... Yeah. There was just... You know what I mean? I didn't have to, like... I wasn't worried about, like, oh, God, what am I going to say? Like, mm. it was just... I feel like conversation just kind of... It just flowed quite nicely. Yeah. It did. And we, we do have we do have quite a similar sense of humour. We do. Yeah. It helps. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is not like talking to a brick wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So nice. Great, I'm not a brick wall. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we didn't hit any brick walls here. We made it. Big thank you to these two, Joe and Louise, who were a joy to listen to, despite their ET reviews being wrong. I'm Michael Spicer and this has been Cinema Dates.